Hi, Jeff DeMore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today I'm going to demonstrate CAC's standard duty safety chucks uh, in a rewind application. I'll be showing them in a rewind application, but they work equally well for unwind applications. So um, this is CAC's safety chucks. And what we've done here, we've built a, a, an unwind and a rewind system just to demonstrate our products. These safety chucks uh, operate with, they open and close, you can open and close them manually. And I'm going to show you how we load a shaft in there and how they operate automatically as well. This is uh, CAC's custom manufactured support shaft. This has CAC's uh, mechanical chuck and custom manufactured shaft and then on the opposite end, an end plug. The safety or uh, the um, mechanical chuck supplies the torque to the core, and the end plug simply just holds up the other end of the core, which I'm going to show you in a second. The reason I'm just mentioning this product, I'm going to do a separate video on how we manufacture this product, but this is a custom manufactured shaft that's very light. Um, this whole assembly is manufactured to handle for, for this application up to a 25 inch wide material. Uh, could handle up to a five or six hundred pound roll, but this whole assembly, including the end plug and the chuck and the shaft, um, is only 12 pounds. So it's very lightweight, very easy to handle, very easy for operate, operators to use. Um, I'm going to uh, load this shaft into the machine. First, I'm going to put on this is designed for a three inch core. I'm going to load the three inch core onto the mechanical chuck and then. Again, it's supported on the opposite end with an end plug. So the mechanical chuck supplies the torque to the core, the end plug just holds up the other side. And then this assembly drops into the safety chucks. The ends on the shaft are square, and the cradle on the safety chuck is designed to fit the square end, the, the square shaft end. We're demonstrating square ends in this video because that's the most common type of safety chuck shape for the shaft. But I also we do manufacture the safety chucks for um, triangle shape or diamond shape. And uh, we have a new round shape. We can actually make the cradle fit a round shaft which supplies a high beam strength and um, extremely low wear characteristics. So uh, I'm going to run this now. This is the uh, plastic film web. I'm going to tape that to the core. Now um, I'm going to turn on the rewind. Basically we have a DC motor driving a gearbox and the output shaft in the gearbox drives this timing belt which drives the input side of CAC's air clutch. This is an air clutch that CAC manufactures and I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about this air clutch in a separate video. This video is mostly just to show CAC's safety chucks in operation. Uh, in this, uh, this air clutch, in this application, is just being used as an on-off device, just to turn the rewind on and off. So I'm going to turn on the motor. So you can see that the input side of the clutch is being driven by that motor. And then the, the clutch is air operated. It's, it's operated with this um, rotary union. The air travels through this valve, through the rotary union, into the clutch. Right now, obviously, the clutch is off because the shaft isn't turning. The safety chuck has an output shaft that goes through the clutch and it's the clutch that couples the motor to the shaft on the safety chuck. So at this point, um, the operator would load the shaft as I did into the rewind, into the safety chucks. And we always recommend that these safety chucks be closed manually. We always recommend that the operator goes ahead and pushes these closed. They're very easy to close. They slide very easily. And then when you turn the rewind on, now they're operating. So right now we're rewinding material 
from simply from an unwind onto a rewind shaft. It's a simple operation. Um, a couple of things about the safety chuck. Number one, it's called one of the reasons why it's called a safety chuck is it will only up, open in the up position. So if you look, there's a there's an arrow on the safety chuck that uh, that indicates the up position or the position where the shaft can be safely removed. So when that arrow is facing up, you can go ahead and slide these back. And if this was a full roll, the operator could pull the shaft out. But I'm going to put, I'm going to put that back in because I want to show you another uh, feature of the safety chuck. Um, when these plate, when these capture plates, we call these capture plates because they capture the shaft. So when the capture plates are closed, if the safety chuck is not oriented. With, with the arrow up, if it's oriented upside down, it's impossible to open the safety chuck. So these safety chucks will not open, so the shaft can never fall out. Even though the shaft is upside down right now, where if this opened, the shaft could fall out, but there's just no way to open that up. That's one of the reasons they're called safety chuck, and it could be anywhere within its rotation. So even when it's 90 degrees, again, that's not going to open. It just can't open. Now if I rotate it to the, to the up position, it opens very easily. Another reason safety chucks are called safety chucks is because if the operator forgets to close these, they'll close automatically when you start to rewind. Or in an unwinding application, if you start to unwind, they'll also close automatically. Again, we always um, recommend that the operator close these manually. But if the operator happens to forget, and he starts up the unwind or the rewind, they close automatically. So I'll show you that one more time. So they're open, and I'll step over here so you can get a good view. And when I turn that rewind on, you'll see that they close automatically. CAC safety chuck is somewhat unique because this capture plate slides linearly along the center line of the safety chuck. So there are other designs out there where the safety chuck, the plate flips open and closed. And my personal experience I've had is I've, in the past, um, I've been in the field and I took my hand and I wrapped it around a safety chuck that had a plate, had the capture plate that flips open. And I pushed it open, and when I did, I caught my fingers in this area of that type of safety chuck where the plate flips. And it flipped against my fingers and pinched them in here, and it was very painful. And anybody who has done that in the field knows what I'm talking about. With these safety chucks, they open and close, but there's nowhere to catch your fingers anywhere in the safety chuck. So it's a very, there's no pinch points in this area. Another benefit of CAC safety chucks is... In, in the shaft area, in this side, because there's no plate that flips closed, this plate slides linearly along the center line. Anything that's in this area just gets pushed out of the way. So if your triggers are in this area, they get pushed out of the way. If you have a piece of clothing in this area, it's just going to get pushed out of the way. So when, if my fingers are in this area and I turn this on, you can see it just gets pushed out of the way. There's no pinch points. So it's a very safe safety chuck. So another feature of CAC safety chucks is the cradle has a in, uh, replaceable insert within the safety chuck, and I'm going to show you how, how to replace the insert. So if I open this up, I'm going to uh, show you that right now. I'm going to cut the web off. And remove the shaft. And at this point, I'm going to turn off the motor. It's still running, but uh, I, don't, I don't need the motor running, so I'm going to shut that off. And we're going to replace the insert. So what you would do is there's one bolt that holds the uh, bottom insert in, and you just use any Allen wrench.
and that bolt comes right out. And that insert slides right out when you take that bolt out. And then the top insert is held in with two screws. And that's, that's the top insert that comes right out. These inserts, this is the bottom insert, that's the top insert, they fit into the safety chuck like this. These inserts are not hardened, typically. We can harden them if, if, des if desired, but typically they're supplied as just common steel. The reason is, this is the wear point. Normally the journal ends of your air shaft, or if you have a through shaft like I showed you earlier, those journal ends are normally hardened so that they don't wear as fast as the inserts. The inserts are very easy to replace, so this is your wear, wear item, this is your wear point. So if this was worn, the operator could easily take this apart, you go over to the shelf, you pull out two, new of these piece, two of these pieces new, and I'm gonna show you how to reinstall them. So the top insert just slides right in. bottom insert slides in and that, that safety chuck is reassembled so now you can take your rewind shaft, same rewind shaft, and it drops right into those safety chucks. So that's your roll of material. Your operator would then close and turn on the rewind stand, and away you go. Um, again, if the operator forgets to close the safety chucks, say chucks are open, he forgets to close them, they close automatically. That's a demonstration for CAC safety chuck. Uh, they do come in different sizes. This size is a uh, standard duty safety chuck. It will handle a roll up to a thousand pounds. CAC safety chucks are available in medium duty. It'll handle up to three thousand pounds and heavy duty will handle up to ten thousand pounds. Thank you for watching CAC's demonstration of our safety trucks.